what these are. The drawings on the walls, everybody, has, has this cat. This cat, everyone, is just a youngster. This cat can be probably about, I would say, two and a half to three feet tall. It's a very small cat. It can weigh about 30 to 40 pounds. It's not big. Because what you're looking at and taking a picture of right now is the only cat in the world, the only cat in the world that can jump from a stationary position in the grass and jump up 12 feet and grab a bird flying. There's not another cat in the world that can do it. The cat also, when he gets big, his back legs and front legs are different lengths. This cat, another thing that this cat does is the only cat in the world does. About 60% plus of his, his diet, this is a carnivore by the way, consists of worms, insects. Why is that? Because this animal will follow herds of zebra, herds of elephants in the Serengeti Plains, kind of where it lives in that area. It will follow the, the, the up in Egypt where there's none left, by the way. It will follow herds of animals. When a herd of elephants goes through, or a herd of a thousand wildebeest, it looks like a bulldozer went through. So this animal yeah. waits until like evening, he'll go down the road and down the path where they built, and pull up all the dead worms, insects, all that kind of stuff. So that's how this was figured out on the hut. If you look at the back of the ears there, Right, you'll see, see the white marks? See those white marks there? The, those are called eye spots. Those eye spots can save this cat at least half the time from being consumed by a hyena, a lion, a leopard. Because the lion, who's the king of beasts, might go up to, he might be eating a little rabbit or something, like eating a rabbit right there. All of a sudden the lion comes up to eat him, and he sees those eyeballs looking back at him. He, the animal doesn't, he goes, what's the lion saying? What is that thing? The lion will walk away. Can you imagine? The lion can take that out with this little swap. The 